looking at a healthy amount. And the beef there is soup. Oh wow, that beef, you didn't even have to chew it, it's so tender. Philippines has got a lot of interesting dishes, very popular ones. Everybody knows adobo, pancit. A little hidden secret is the beef paris. It's a staple diet of all meals, enjoyed by many. I'm going to show you how I eat it differently. Come with us. Come with us, Po. What beef paris, Po? Okay, got me. Okay. Here's a fun fact. Beef Paris. Paris, actually, comes from a Tagalog word to mean pear. And I just asked him for the beef Paris and rice. It's a pear of food. Not a lot of people know this. It's kind of oddest. A foreigner does. That's how good this stuff is. I eat it every day. Let's get over to the table, and uh, we'll, we'll let the gentleman bring it out. There you are, mm. I love this dish. I eat this stuff, actually, every day. It's Syrah. I eat it a lot different, but here's another fun fact for you. Beef Paris originated out of the streets of Manila, but it's grown in popularity. You can find it all over the Philippines. Beef Paris is a soup base. We're gonna get actually the chef out here to tell us all of his ingredients and the process of making it. Now, there are some people you can get the upgraded. It comes with lechon, chabao, Shanghai, and a, and a boiled egg. That's kind of interesting too. But I just get the basic one. 50 pesos, one US dollar. All right, brother, so you're the cook and the chef of this, right? Yeah. So you've been making this for years? Yeah. Okay, how many years? One year. Okay, so tell us, wh wh what are the ingredients and just tell us the short version. Can you tell us uh, all of the ingredients that you use to cook this? Just a uh, simple ingredients we use on our food. Uh, your meat, Tagalog, baka, then Paminta, star onions, toyo, sure. yes, oyster. Do you put uh, any kind of like garlic or? Yes, uh, gisa, gisa, uh, sibuyas, luya, and then bawang. Okay, okay. wow. That's a lot of ingredients. There's a lot. Cube, cube, beef. Oh, the, yeah, beef cube for the soup, to, for the broth, and to, to make the soup, yes. Because it's a bone that makes more like a beef. Oh, nice. Getting the marrow, the bone marrow, and all of those healthy things that are in the, the bone outside into the soup base. Excellent. For you, how, how long does that process take? Start to finish to make one batch of beef terrace. Two hours? About two hours, huh? Two hours. That's including cooking the beef and the boiling. All right, well, uh, le let me try this food. I appreciate you. Thank you for your time, Kuya. Let's dive into this dish i'll show you how i eat it different and why i enjoy it this way that's what makes it everyday meal for me okay the first thing we do is we give it a little remix okay just mixing up all those ingredients the next thing we do we're out with the goodness here in Bicol, they love that chili pepper and i do too so we got chili peppers we got chili pepper oil on the top and we got the peppers on the bottom we got chili oil on the top and the peppers down on the bottom we're gonna add one scoop typically, sometimes they go a scoop and a half. I'll tell you a wild experience. After many drinks with other Filipinos, we tried three scoops. Wrap, 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 wrap. I don't advise it, it's fiery hot. One scoop, that's a big scoop right there. Okay, we got our chili peppers. Now we get some of this oil in there. I'm getting excited already. Beef Paris, and it's only a dollar, 50 pesos. You wouldn't believe this. So a lot of people put their chili chili pepper in there nothing's abnormal yet we're gonna mix it all up in there so we have consistency so we've added spice we're adding a little bit of heat to the dish mixing up those oils in there and naturally the oils want to separate a little bit so we're gonna keep mixing second thing I add garlic love the garlic now Kuya says they already add garlic to it during the mix we're gonna add a healthy amount Down there. There we go. <laughs> so I seasoned the top of it with garlic. Those are actually the only two seasonings I add. We still have one more, my trade secret of how I eat it. But first we need to mix up all that garlic and mix up that heat and those chili peppers. There we go. So right now, all we have is a soup. And this is what a lot of Filipinos will do. They will eat their rice and then they will scoop some and you know, they'll pretty much eat their soup with the spoon and just something like this slowly. I'm not too fond of that. This is where I get different. What I like to do, Mix that rice right in. So there's a good reason why I add this rice because the rice will actually absorb 
some of the liquid and the soup into the rice. And that makes it a little thicker reaction. Even Filipinos are usually surprised. That's a lot of information I know. Stick around for those fun facts. Here we go, reaction. Taste the spice, not extreme. I don't need water, but the garlic, it's a good balance. Spice and garlic and the beef broth and all of those flavors that Goya was saying that they add in during cook with chunks of beef. Here's a chunk of beef, the rice and the beef fair soup. Oh, wow, that beef, you didn't even have to chew it. It's so tender. It just melted in my mouth. <laughs> mm. I think I mentioned already that they sprinkle green onions on the top. That's always a good thing. It's not, I don't need water or anything to cool down. It's very flavorful. Mm. All finished. That's a beautiful thing. Hits your belly really well. You can eat this once, twice a day. Now, typically, I was normally eating. You'll have a main course meal, and beef Ferris is a secondary thing. Some people just come here, they eat it alone, like myself. Typically, Filipinos like a good smorgasbord. Two last fun facts for you. There's a lot of people that like to experiment with their beef Paris. You've seen me do it. I add in the heat to the spicy be cold chili pepper, sili. And then I add in the garlic, just enough garlic to, to kind of alter, to alter the taste. Adding the rice so the rice will absorb the liquid, but adding the rice so it absorbs the soup into the rice is the major way I, I just enjoy it that way. Last fun fact for you guys is beef Paris is commonly referred to as a comfort food. That's something that gives the Filipinos happiness and enjoyment and brings back fond memories of family gatherings and friendships. That's beef Paris, 50 pesos, one US dollar. This is how I eat it. In fact, I'll tell you what. Booyah! One more, please. Lame. I'm gonna have another one. That's beef Paris, 50 pesos, one US dollar. How I eat it differently. I hope you enjoyed all of them, folks. There's gonna be videos up top that Google thinks you like. There's gonna be some playlists down below of other videos that we make about exotic foods. All kinds of different Filipino dishes, travel, adventure, all these great things. Hope you enjoy those. Click those links. Until next time, people, hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.